All right, here we go. World of Tanks, and uh, I'm driving my Chaffee. Uh, I love this little thing. It's uh, it's a really fun little uh, Tier 5 light tank. And um, anyway, we're here on Moravanka in counter battle, and XVM is saying it's a, it's a toss-up match, and I pretty much agree, given the uh, given the, how things look. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I've, you can notice I pinged the map. I'm uh, pinging uh, D7, and I like to head over in that direction uh, early on, because the Chaffee does have a couple things going for it. One being its general stealthiness, second being its uh, its gun depression. Uh, like most American tanks, it's got pretty good gun depression. Uh, the gun, on the other hand, well, yeah, not so good. But So anyway, moving up here, and I want to take a passive scouting position in one of these bushes here. And just see if I can, you know, get some peeks at some guys coming over the top here. And I'm looking around, ah, oh, there's T28, and I'm like, hmm, yeah, I'll take a shot. And yeah, the gun is the gun moves. Oh, sorry, the rounds from the gun are actually pretty slow. And I tunnel vision a bit, and that's when I notice the leopard here. On the other hand, I get a good snapshot on, off on the leopard. And I can't just let this guy run into uh, run into our backfield uh, unencumbered uh, for multiple reasons. First, not least of which is what he can do to our to our uh, artillery. So, I start, yeah, I tried to run him down, just didn't work out for me. That's alright, somebody else got the kill, I did get a hit on him. So, what's going on now? So, I'm looking at the mini-map, and I'm thinking, alright, east side of the map needs some, needs some help, and there's a couple of heavies there, and I'm sure they are not looking, that, looking my way. So, I'm trying to line up shots, and again, here's the weakness of the Chaffee. Uh, you really... You really have to hit, get square hits on your targets if you want to have a decent chance of, uh, of penetrating them. Bounce a couple shots off the T-150, bounce a shot off the VK, and I can get my hit in first. VK's down, and now I'm trying to line up with the T-150 here again, but uh, he gets under cover. So again, I'm looking around trying to figure out exactly what I can do here, and I'm thinking, alright, you know, this Cromwell could use, uh, use some attention. Track him, set him on fire, so get the kill. <clears throat> the T-150 that was there, he's down. Somebody should have took a shot at me. I'm not sure who it was, but doesn't really matter. So uh, at this point, I'm thinking, all right, we're in pretty good shape. We've won the east side. I'm going to be able to flank around. And now my gunnery just lets me down. Okay. Th two shots. Three shots. Come on, come on, you can do better than this. Finally, get a hit on him. Only took, what, four shots? Five? I don't know. So, anyway, I'm watching where the grill's going. The gorilla. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And then I spot the Hellcat. Auto aim at the Hellcat. And I just start circle strafing him here. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him. Ooh, I just bounced a shot from somebody somewhere. Not sure where. But I'm not going to let this Hellcat turn around and get his gun on me. Because if he does, yeah, I can't afford to lose that many hit points. I probably should have loaded an HE round. Oh! There's that T-67. Anyway, I probably should have loaded an HE round there. <clears throat> but uh, it's alright. I got the kill. And I come over the top here and, uh, well, I find the... AMX 105, and then I'm sitting here thinking, all right, now what? Um, oh, crap. Okay. Martyr got me. And two shots into him. He puts another hit into me. And again, I, I just auto-aimed, and now, oh, crap, here comes the T-67. He misses the ram, but you know what? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, at that point, uh, <laughs> you know, I got five kills at that point, and, uh, you know, not much else I'm going to be able to do. So, uh, so overall, yeah, I, play, I, th I think I did pretty good. I definitely turned the flank back there. And, uh, you know, aside from that really bad shooting at the gorilla, uh, I think, uh, I think I played that fairly, fairly well, fairly aggressively, but then again, I should have, I mean, you know, Take a look at the matchmaking. You know, you're talking about a tier five light tank in a tier four to six match, and um, 
I had to take advantage of that. So, uh, so anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at the post game stats. Okay, uh, here's the post game stats, and let's take a take a quick look at them. Uh, no complaints here. High caliber. Don't see that too often with the Chaffee, but it was a tier six game. Uh, Fire for effect. Fighter. Arsonist. Always fun. Uh, Bruiser and an ace tanker badge here. Uh, team scores. We'll take a look there real quick. Uh, 1,223 experience. Not too shabby. 1,259 damage. Uh, probably stole the high caliber from the SU-100. I'm sure if he had an extra extra shot or two, uh, he would have, uh, he would have probably gotten the high caliber, but hey, like I said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I got it, so, anyway, uh, the team, they had their chances, but, uh, overall, they just weren't as effective as we were, so, uh, but if you take a look, you can see that three of their tanks didn't do any damage, one, two, three, four, five of, six of ours didn't do any damage, so, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Well, anyway, uh, overall, though, uh, 30 shots fired, 22 hits. Well, shooting at that gorilla really screwed me up there. And uh, But 19 penetration, so uh, actually a lot more penetrating, damaging hits than you'd normally expect from a Chaffee, especially given the current gun. Uh, current, uh, you know, it's like, a, I think it was, yeah, <laughs> like I was saying, uh, the gun is just, just doesn't have the punch that, uh, that it needs, especially when you get up in the tier 8, so... Anyway, with that, um, let's go on to the next match. All right, we're loading up the next one here, and we're in. Um, we're in XVM does really like our chances here. I mean, they're saying 68%. <clears throat> Doesn't always happen that way. I mean, if you saw my uh, uh, recent Pershing video, you know, we won a 31 percenter. So uh, you never take anything for granted. But anyway, uh, bottom tier, uh, tier five, but it's only a tier. It, the White Park's only limited to tier six, so. That's really good matchmaking, again, for me. And uh, while the map isn't really good for scouting, uh, it is good for a, uh, well, <clears throat> a crazy little chaffy player like me. And I'm not afraid to get in there and start shooting things up. So, let's get the show on the road. So, with that, uh, I start by going off to the east. And what I'm planning to do is get up next to the tracks and do some peeking through and under the railroad cars and when you do that you can keep a lot of your tank hidden uh, and again the Chaffee's got really good gun depression and if I can get into this okay well nope and I miss one but nope don't have a don't get a shot at the next one here uh, as he's going through but uh, again I'm just trying to figure out okay how can I work this Chaffee and what else can I spot here from under here okay there comes a Cromwell what's he doing Okay, there's a VK out there. So, again, I'm feeling pretty secure where I'm at. <clears throat> uh, anybody who's going to be shooting at me is going to have to slide their shots under the railroad cars. Now, I'm not saying they can't do it, uh, but this is a pretty good spot, especially if you can get a strong uh, get in there with a uh, uh, something with good gun depression and or strong turret. So, I'm going to pop up here again behind this railroad car not as safe <clears throat> uh, as I was before because I have to expose more more of myself but you know what I want to take that uh, artillery out there we go and let's get back take a hit probably from the Churchill out there and now it's time to back off and see what else is going on so <clears throat> this Cromwell makes a silly move he comes over the top and it looked like I tracked him. Or if I didn't track him, somebody did. So since I'm here, let's, uh, let's go ahead and aim for his tracks. It, if he's just going to be obliging enough to sit there. Yeah. <clears throat> Kept him pinned in place. Let the rest of my team work him over. Now, the west side of the map has fallen. Or is pretty much fallen. All we have left over is a Type T-34. And we've got a lot of other stuff coming in. I peek out, take a snapshot at the OE, uh, get back into cover. <clears throat> but now it's a question of, you know, what what's, what exactly is going to happen over there. So I'm trying to figure out, all right, do I deal with the OE when he comes out, if he's coming out? Nope, he's not going to come out. And I can't just sit around here and not do anything. So I've got to poke out and line a shot up on something and actually put my put my gun to use and and be useful so 
start moving forward a little bit. And again, this map is so small that if I'm in the middle of it, I can literally see anything on the map. But first, well, you know what? That T-67 out there, he's just going to sit there. I get a good long-range shot. I get the kill. Uh, now there's an M44 out there. He shoots at me. I twitched just as he took the shot. So I got, I did get lucky there. Somebody else came in, came over, took a shot at, or enemy took a shot at me. And again, I got lucky as I was uh, moving as they were taking the shot. I did get lucky dodging that artillery. So the VK, I don't know what he was thinking here. Just did not watch me coming up. And he's down. So now uh, we've got uh, we've got seven tanks against their four. And I'm feeling pretty confident. So let's go ahead and pop up and see what I can do. So I've got shots on the OE right into the flat of his the flat of his side and I cannot get the shots to go through and he's gonna nuke that VK that's right in front of him yeah all right so you know what there's only one way to deal with this OE and first is well step one is to load gold step two <clears throat> drive right up to his side and auto-aim at him and set him on fire. <laughs> Hit him again. He's still on fire. And there he goes. And that is pretty much that. Uh, we're going to finish it off with the uh, uh, team's going to chase down this T-34-85. I'll show you how close I am to getting a top gun here. Um, going around the corner, and I'm trying to think where this T-34 might be. And I'm thinking, all right, let's get around him. He knows where we're coming from, so I should be able to get a rear, uh, a rear shot on him. And if I had only gone down that street to my left, which might have been the right, right idea, didn't quite get the shot off. So uh, that's okay. Uh, again, not a bad game, and um, actually a pretty good game. So um, with that, let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, stats and see how I did. And here's the post-game stats. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, no complaints at all. Uh, I didn't get the, the get the uh, high caliber this time. That's okay. Far for effect fighter, another arsonist badge, uh, another bruiser badge, and another ace tanker badge. Uh, but take a look at the experience. Almost seven thousand. Of course, that was a times five, but you don't get numbers like that unless, well, you do pretty good here. So, uh, almost fourteen hundred experience. 1749 damage the hellcat uh on our side did almost 2000 damage that kill stealer him i could have got a top gun if he hadn't been a little quicker than me but anyway uh no complaints there uh i do want to talk about the oe for just a second though he um i mean cool hitted bruiser duelist but you know what? Only 900 damage, four penetrating hits, and three kills. So he was obviously not using the top gun, uh, and you know he might have been able to put a little bit of hurt on me. I was, uh, I was a little worried about him, but on the other hand, like I said, you know, uh, I had to load the gold. Uh, I just was not penetrating him reliably enough with the standard ammo. So, so anyway, uh, 27 shots fired, 23 hits, and 15 penetrations. This is probably, <clears throat> excuse me. It's probably a little bit more standard for the Chaffee, uh, simply because, again, the gun is not as good as it needs to be, especially since we're going to be facing tier 8s. Uh, generally, you'd want to load uh, a bit more a uh, bit more uh, uh, premium ammo than I do. I run about a 3 to 1. I'm prob I think I would have knocked that, knocked that up to like a 3 to 2 mix. Uh, uh, you know, two shots of premium for every shot of standard that I have, and then a couple of a, uh, a couple of HE rounds just to uh, you know reset ca reset cap or go after the real soft targets. But uh, yeah, overall, uh, like I said, no complaints, and I think I did fairly well. So, uh, <laughs> uh, however, uh, let's look at this these numbers over here. I did fire, like I said, a couple of premium rounds of that OE, but I still made uh, almost nineteen thousand credits of profit, and the uh, fourteen hundred experience. Uh, that was that was lucky. That was a good times five that I had. So, so anyway, with that, um, I guess that's about it. So, uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the videos, and uh, you know, hope you learned something about how what a chaffee can do in a in a low tier. Well, uh, you know, well, the, and by low tier, I mean no higher than tier six match. And um, you know, with that, I will uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.